CWL 2K. Literally. Hmm. Well, here we go. Arsenal, Hardpoint loading on up. Another one very similar to Hacienda where just a lot of big rotations. And it looks like the game is underway. You know what? I want to start on board with Vivid because he had such a big game three. We'll see if he can bring it in this fourth one. Okay, well, let's kick things off. A nice little bit of Sorg action. Interestingly enough, you can see the quick draw grip and double stock being rocked here oh, by goodness. Vivid and making full use of it. Thoughts on this? When you see a player kind of fully stack their weapon, go for that kind of that, that hungry kill mode. Rise. I mean, we've, we've seen it a lot. Really what you're relying on is your trophy players, right? That, that extra utility to come through. Attack mass, while yes, it does do its, do it does its job, it doesn't counter it fully. So a lot of people say, you know what? We'll just rely on trophies to make sure we always have them up. If we get stunned, we get stunned. You can't have everything, but right now we are seeing a very strong start for Project 7. We've corrected those hoods there at the top. That is the correct score for you right there. Project 7, two, Mesa Gaming, one. And as we see the first rotation go down, we are starting to see Mesa Gaming actually control those spawns. And it's going to be number seven right at the back. Destiny who holds them, but on your screen is Noobs. Let's see what Destiny's up to here. I got you, Phil. You said number seven. I went right there. You just let me know which number you want, and I got it. But Hollow able to find a couple of kills, and just like that, it's four down. Make it all five. What a break out of Project 7 again. This is what happened in map number one. The rotations were on point out of them. They were able to break the spawn so easily, and that's when things get scary. If they're able to do that a couple of hills in a row. But just as I say that, Mazer Gaming, they're fighting their way back as they're able to find three, make it four. These guys are just going back and forth. Yeah, beautiful stuff here, but with 20 seconds still left here, a couple points to get, but you want to hit that rotation. And talking of rotation, Little Cell's all over it right now with the ICR. Looking to anchor these almost. He's going to spot one. Jumping off. The snapshot comes Ooh. in with Destiny. That high fire rate Sorg just too strong. Yeah, especially with that stock too. Once again, that movement can just be so quick. Sometimes it is very tough to be an ICR player. And we saw that really at Vegas. Looking at some of the stats, it was really the Maddox players. A couple of ICRs here and there because, let's be honest, that Sorg on land, well, it can melt you. Certainly can. Up close and personal, Toro showing us how good it really is. Maddox, of course, that kind of in-between where you're going to get a little bit of best of both. Pushing up now is going to be Vivid. Takes one down before falling himself. Score only 10 points favoring Project 7, but they'll be happy with this one with 25 seconds left. Before that rotation, we're going to see Hollow finally taken down there. I'm going to be honest with you. I think I might be turning into a, to a Vivid fan. Vivid the Warrior fan. He is 14-5 and five right now. Having such a good game as they have about a 25-point lead. But Supreme Agility and Co. already setting up towards these cannons, trying to get this hill locked down. And this is such an important set of kills right here, because if you're Project 7, if you're able to break this rotation, but if you're a Mazer, you're able to lock this one down and spawn them where you want to. And it's looking like they're going to be able to hold off this push. Is Vicious and Destiny able to find some kills? And they're still on that hill. Ooh, try to go for that shot punch. So deadly. All you need is one bullet, one punch, and you're taking them out. But it's not going to be enough there. It doesn't connect with that melee. And we are going to see a Tora dipping and diving, sliding on in. Finds himself in the hard point. The engineer, oh, sorry, the tech match, should I say. Stopping that stun for a second. 92 plays 63. But like you said, Vivid, a fantastic game. 17 sorry, yeah, seven right now. now. He's on fire. He's looking to end this game and end the series right here. Yeah, we are four hills in, and he has War Machine. Let's stay on board with him. Able to find a couple of kills, but if you're Mazer, you're happy about that. He invests the War Machine. You're still getting the scrap time, and I was just going to say, Dylan Rex already set up for that next hill. A great job by them. We'll see how Project 7 tries to, to out-rotate them and get them off those spawns, but so far, so good for Mazer. They've controlled most of the rotations. It's just if they've been able to lock them down and get those points. Are we going to see Project 7 break on through once again? 15-point difference right now. Noobs anchor in the back and gets a nice easy kill onto Little Cells. Well, elsewhere, Vivid and Atora pick up a couple kills. Can't do all the damage they need to. And we are going to see Mazer Gaming actually fight back into this one, maybe taking the lead on this hill. Yeah, just a couple of points away now. Invasion and Co. trying to jump through that window. It can be so tough to break this one through the front. But they have a lot of players here. You heard that stun go off. Little Cell's able to find a couple of them. They know there's a player out front. There we go. They're able to take down four. Mazer is still spawning in the back. 
You do not have to heal. <laughs> Attack 5 boost was popped. You're good. I was about to say, there's no better feeling when you're getting shot. You're yeah. down to about 12 HP and the Attack 5 comes in instantly. It's at 200 health favoring them. But again, my man was, he was spamming heals. Dick. He wanted heal real quick, but he already had 200 HP. Hollow with some nice shots. And as we go into the second set of hills, basically all tied up. He's able to earn that Tempest. On the side of Mazer, J Destiny does have that War Machine. And at this point of the game, one of those specialists is going to be invested. And it looks like Dylan, he does have the Annihilator, able to find a couple of kills, but he does get taken out. Yeah, just, uh, just do a little bit of impact as we do see the double come through, but Hollow answers back with the double himself. And how close is this game? Mazer Gaming, for the first time, take the lead here, and they've invested that Tac 5 boost. Two players will be taken off of it, but they're still making those all-important kills here. Hollow with the Tempest. Invasion close to the Grab Slam. Lil Cells as well does have the Annihilator in his back pocket. When are we going to see those potentially on this next rotation? Destiny finishing off Evasion, but Obel only just to find the one. Now Supreme Agility with 10 seconds left knows that they could rotate all the way around. That's Vivid. This is going to be a big one versus one. And Vivid just smacks him in the face. What a win by him. And now he's in a very, very tough position, but he's being hunted down by Destiny. Destiny able to win that great kill by him, able to lock down the spawns. And now Mazer Gaming able to lock down this hill. Sorg in hand, Destiny finds another. So far, so good here. Again, still going strong. Dylan's actually hidden good form. 21 and 15 for him. He's now in the hill, getting that objective down as well with 35 seconds left. This is where they can create a little bit of a gap between themselves and Project 7. But Project 7 coming from the back. They have those spawns favoring them technically right now, but the kills are coming in and that's Mazer Gaming. This is a great hold so far by Mazer. 20 seconds left. You can already see on the minimap is Project 7 starting to rotate all the way through. That's Evasion and Vivid, but they're going to be met by some company and they're not going to expect it. Nice shots by Evasion. I was going to say Supreme Agility was already set up, able to find one. Now a 40 point lead for Mazer. Evasion trying to do the best he can to evade and just stay alive by as much time as possible. His teammates are pushing through the front, trying to help him out. And as we talked about, he does have that grab slam available. When is he going to invest that? There we go, Destiny with that war machine, able to find a couple of kills. This will allow his team to break on through, and there we go. They had the spawns the entire time. They used the war machine to break on through, and he's just putting damage down. Yeah, and just kind of stopping them, you know, yep. putting a pause on their attack right there and putting a couple more seconds on the board for Mesa. Now breaching 190 nearly, as we see Destiny looking to rotate round and try and find Hollow as he regens. The grapple gun comes in. He's not going to be able to find that one. Destiny does find one before going down here, but a tactical play is not going to warrant anything for Hollow as he finally falls with 15 seconds still left. Mesa game, and then looking to push this to a game five. Again, it was about 110 to 110 as we went into the second set of rotation. And since that point, Mazer Gaming has just controlled the last couple of hills. You still have a ton, and I mean a lot of specialists available. If you are Project 7, may maybe to bring you back into this one. He's able to find Dylan, but that takes three shots. So I think you're happy if you are Mazer. Still has seven left in the chamber. Knows some guys could be pushing through that window, trying to find an angle. If he gets one, that'll stop their push. Able to do so. A great hold right now from Project 7. Yeah, this is this is great stuff. They're investing the specialists wisely here, and they're making use of it. Tempest so close to running out. Maybe one or two seconds does connect with one, and that's going to be the end here, as he's going to have to finish that with the Maddox. Will do. Can he find the second? Snaps on. Supreme Agility, though, will be weak and should be traded. Evasion comes in with that, but a really solid hold. There's still 20 seconds left to go, and Project 7 have got right back into this game. Yeah, they absolutely have, and they're already set up towards this cafe area where that nice hill will be. Little Cells and Dylan both have their Annihilators. This will be Dylan's second one. There is Vivid. With that war machine, able to find a couple, and he's able to do that on rotation. Scrap time does go the way of Mazer, so now 20 seconds needed for them to win the game, but they did not win rotation towards Cafe. So you already have Vivid set up with the rest of his team. Can they hold him off? I mean, they can win this one here. Dylan, though, Ooh. we invest the, the, the Annihilator, but a nice war machine off the ground, able to connect, able to hit him. Supreme Agility trying to find around Little Cells. Let's watch what he can find. Not much, never mind. We're gonna stay on board with Vivid. War Machine, Annihilators, everything is coming out right now. Desperation mode for both teams. Just 45 seconds needed on the side of Project to win this one. Vicious, I think he pulled out the, the Tempest as well. He certainly did. The kills come through. The kill feed looking blue. However, still 20 points behind. 
They can't end it right here. That being Project 7, but they can make it a lot closer. Vivid trying to go God mode right now. He's down, but not out. 35 health, and he's got to find another. Can he make oh. the melee? No, he can't, but the health storm comes in. That could be huge going into the next hill. Yeah, especially if he can get some... That drone squad as well. That drone squad could be so strong inside of this first hill. What can he find? Those windows are open. Not able to find much through those windows, but does find them in the back. Just 10 more seconds needed, but this is going to be a big push. Going to come through there. There we go. Able to find the drone squad and the sniper's nest. Calls that in right away, just trying to stay alive. The drone squad's here. It's 240 to 240. The break needs to come in. Going to find anything. Calls the sniper's nest in, but the streaks might just be too late. The streaks might be too late, and there we go. It looks like Mazer Gaming able to clutch this one on up. 250 to 240. Wow. Some crazy gameplay towards the end there. Hellstorms, drone squads, and everything in between. But it's just simply not enough. We're going to be going to a game five. We're going to finalize this one on Search and Destroy for a second, though. I thought that they were back in this. I thought they had it almost, and we're going to put that nail in the coffin. But fair play. Mazer Gaming, clutch up.